so hello friends i am back again with yet another video and in this video i will be reviewing this book which is estimation and costing in civil engineering by b n datta so let's get started please hit the like and hit the subscribe button very very hard really very hard okay so here is the book which is the 28th revised edition of this book and here this is how it looks uh i would say very surreal simple and elegant design it has okay this is some okay information about the author about his background and all okay and here you see he is he was a uh, uh, pwd engineer author practicing in up and now he is no more okay so and this book is revised by s datta i guess he, he is his son and now if you look at the contents of this book you get to know about the procedure of estimation that is uh, long wall short wall method of estimation there is uh, center line method of estimation covered in this book okay estimates of a building then there is uh, the estimate of different types rcc works okay the brick masonry ac gi sheets okay all etc etc or the pipes and fittings etc etc sewers all the necessary things all the necessary estimate estimates that a civil engineer basically requires is covered in this book and if you see uh in addition to this it also has road estimate uh, which covers also the estimation of flexible as well as the rigid pavement okay it has the estimation of railway line culverts bridges wells even wells even irrigation works and uh, so this uh, visually covers each and everything each and every kind of civil engineering project okay one can think of and when we come to the chapter 10 it has something about types of estimate sanction of project it has some basic uh, some not i would say basic but a good understanding of rate analysis then rate the, the, it has the rate analysis of all kinds of works it also covers the estimation of materials and their transport it has so has it has now the specifications okay now the next page in this next page it has rules and methods of measurement of various works okay then it has valuation now uh, it has some things about technical reports this is all about pwd accounts and procedure of works which they follow in pwd which is uh, necessary for a civil engineer this is uh, the government works which the government pwd departments follow okay and here in the next chapters it has other miscellaneous topics such as planning or building planning of a colony okay which covers hostels hostel building school building etc etc and there are some appendix where schedule of rates is given and uh, in chapter 20 it's all about schedule of rates itself and if you want to just have a look of the book here here is how it looks from inside okay 
here are the diagrams okay all the necessary diagrams are given this is all about arches and all here is here are the important terms some important terms it has huge theory here are C this is these are the units here estimates are given it starts from simple example of a room so this is I guess uh, I, I guess this is the central line method yeah this is the central line method okay here all the problems are in central line method previously uh, if okay next it has all this all the calculations are shown here okay along with that i would like to show one more thing okay here in the explanatory notes if you don't understand from how, where the length is taken then it is also explained well here are the other notes which are important notes which are given okay these are the plans and elevations okay always remember plans and elevations are a must for estimation and <clears throat> okay so see this is the truss it, it's a wooden truss although steel trusses are not given here which is a con i guess i think the major con of this textbook is that uh, steel trusses estimation is not given uh, only i get only one problem is given i think it should have some more problems on steel truss it should also have tower okay which is not here and this is the earthwork okay this is the flexible payment there is also rigid payment somewhere here okay this is it payment is also there then there is culvert bridge and all the other necessary things so it has a good combination see here this is a detailed drawing of uh, rcc bridge okay, and with the calculations it's given very well it's a very well formulated book and it's a standard book it's a very popular book used all over india and i would recommend this to everyone to every undergraduate student studying civil engineering see here this is the rate analysis rate analysis is also given very well here it's very clear very neat and one more con i would say is that uh, the rate analysis the rates that are here are uh, not revised okay they are quite old rates 8 to 10 year old rates i think uh, the they, the publishing house or the author should revise it uh, frequently and schedule of rates is also very old at least say if not rates then the schedule of rates should be updated and there are other things here whitewashing coloring paintings all about paintings floorings and all method of methods of measurements of works is given this is also a very important topic when it comes to this is not taught usually in the colleges the measurement of works but in the industry when you go or when you work as a site engineer you need to do the measurement of works okay and this is the uh, all the other things okay how the works are done all those things are given okay let me show you the schedule of rates if i can show okay so it's here okay this is the schedule of rates see here this is the schedule of rates these are old rates not prevalent okay in our state at least in karnataka you don't get schedule of rates easily you need to go to the pwd department to get the circle rates each circle has different rates again those are revised every every year every two years okay so this is all about it i hope you liked the video you enjoyed the review of this book
there are other books also uh, the names of which i will be putting in the description box and to buy this book the link of this book will be in the description box so i would suggest all all of you to check the description box and i would really i really think that uh, the undergraduate students or even if you are graduate you should go for this book it's a very, really very nice book very well written very well compiled okay so that's all about this video so thank you for watching my video thank you